Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I had a special request to show uh, my case setup and also the entire uh, computer gaming rig which I used to film on my, all my 4D90 gaming videos. So I'll start off with the case. I'm running a Corsair Obsidian 1000D Super Tower case. It's a very large, beefy, full tower, well Super Tower it's called, a uh, case which has a lot of room. And then for motherboard I'm running a MSI Z690, Z690 Unify motherboard. For CPU I'm running an i9 1400KS CPU. Which I currently only have at stock because I am running an AIO. I'm running a Corsair H170i E-Lite LCD which features a 420mm radiator. And as you can see I got lots of uh, different case fans uh, front and back to uh, aid in cooling. And for memory I'm running 32 gigabytes of G-Skills Z5 DDR5 PC6400 RAM with a CL32 timings. And for GP, I'm running an Asus Rix RTX 4090, which I usually run around 3,000 megahertz overclocked in gaming. And so that's pretty much the entire uh, case. And I'm running uh, a headset, of course, when running uh, the games and stuff. It's a very large case, lots of room, lots of space. And sometime I would like to go with custom water cooling to really uh, be able to cool this 14-gen uh, CPU, which this case certainly does have a lot of room. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. And then powering all this is a Seasonic 1300-watt platinum-rated power supply, and I am running a 16-pin dedicated uh, Seasonic power cable, which is uh, connected to my Asus Strict RTX 4090 graphics card. Uh, for storage, I'm running two Western Digital S850Xs and RAID 0. They're two 2 terabyte drives, which give me a total space of 3.6 terabytes of space for my games, files, operating system, and video files for the videos that I do upload. So that's pretty much the entire case uh, setup. And everything that's uh, kind of powering it and letting everything do what it has to do. So I was also uh, asked to uh, run some games, so we'll test out Cyberpunk 2077 with a full overclock load in my 4090 and see how the CPU and uh, AIO fans uh, end up uh, working under full load. So we'll run the fans at full tilt and then we'll set them to auto to uh, show you the differences in fan noise uh, depending on uh, you know what kind of load I want to uh, push my components to, so stay tuned for that portion of the video. So these are my GP overclock settings when I'm running games. I usually run a max out power limit, core voltage 100% forced, 100% uh, uh, added with uh, additional 170 megahertz core overclock and 1185 megahertz memory clock. And I do run the fans at 100% which do make a lot of noise, uh, but because I'm using a headset I you don't hear it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and turn the fans up to full tilt. And that's running the 4090 at full 100% fan bubbles. And we'll go ahead and start the game so we get a load on the CPU and show you the total noise output. This is also with the case open, by the way. I can also close it, which helps us uh, reduce a little bit of the noise. But uh, when I'm gaming with my headset, I don't hear anything. Obviously, I got sound cancellation. So we'll go ahead and start up a game and I'll show you the actual total fan noise with everything uh, fully backed up. And then just to show you CPU-Z, to show you uh, my uh, 1400KS, usually uh, in games sets at 5.9 gigahertz, which will show up at 5900 megahertz on uh, CPU-Z. So we'll go ahead and start up Cyberpunk, and then uh, we'll show you everything at full tilt, so stay tuned. Okay, we're all loaded up in Cyberpunk 2077, with my GPU running at 3045 megahertz, and the CPU running at... 5.9 gigahertz. I'm not sure again why it says 5,876, but it is at 5.9 gigahertz in Windows. And so here's the total uh, noise. Here's the case open. Now, obviously, like I said, this is very loud because everything is full tilt. CPU uh, water temperature is 33 uh, C. But as you can see, it makes a lot of noise. But of course, that's why I'm using a noise canceling uh, headset, which does help, obviously. And just to show you that the graphics 
uh, settings are all maxed out. I always show this on my uh, gaming videos, but everything is uh, DLSS is set to quality mode, frame generation on, DLSS reconstruction is on, ray tracing and ray path tracing is enabled, film grain and chromatic aberration is turned off. With psycho screen space reflectiveness, but everything is all the way turned up uh, highest, highest possible setting with the uh, render, not render resolution, but running a resolution 3040 by 2160 with HDR, which is enabled. And then, those of you who are just curious uh, what it sounds like with the fans just set to auto, so I'll go ahead and go to uh, MS Afterburner and let's go ahead and just put the fan to auto. And then, uh, as you can see, it actually is very quiet. So the CPU, water temperature is still the same temperature, but the actual fan noise is much more bearable and tolerable. And we're still maintaining uh, 30, 45 megahertz, it's a little bit lower now. Obviously, the temps will go up a little bit higher, but still uh, very reasonable with the fan set to auto. which is having my fan run at 46% there when pulling 470 watts. So that's it. I just wanted to show you uh, the whole setup, how it sounds and runs during load and full load when I'm running my tests. And I uh, hope you guys uh, did appreciate the video. And for that person who did request it, I hope you did uh, get everything you wanted to get out of this video. And uh, one other thing is um, I forgot to mention is I am running the Intel uh, Intel. Okay guys, my brain's working now. I'm running the Thermal Grizzly uh, contact frame, which also helps lower the temperatures uh, when you're running uh, the LGA 1700, 13 gen, or 14 gen CPUs. But that's and then for the keyboard, I'm running a Rokot, um, Rokat, whatever it's called, a mechanical keyboard, which has been holding up nicely for the past three years now. And I'm running a um, Razer RGB angle mouse and there's the steel series uh, audio uh, amplifier whatever you want to call it, it controls all the audio uh, noise with uh, my headset there which is made by steel series and so that's pretty much it that's the whole entire case setup the Corsair Obsidian 1000D super tower case and that's everything that powers it and allows me to make the videos that I do in my uh, gaming channel. So if you did like the video, do give this video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, more 4090 gaming videos, more PS5 videos, and uh, Accord V6 driving videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys for another video soon enough. But that's the entire uh, gaming rig I set up. I do have a pretty small desk. I don't have a lot of space, so... Uh, in terms of desk space and then for monitor I'm running a 4 4k 32 inch Acer Predator uh, HDR 500 enabled monitor it's not the best HDR setup uh, but it is nice for gaming and it's a nice uh, decent size for the amount of desk space that you have so that's it so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for another video soon enough peace out and see you guys around